Well, they just can't keep their noses out, can they? Let's begin. You know, in the olden days, police used to mainly catch bad guys, along with things like burglaries, murderers, and all sorts of other crimes. Nowadays, it's far seeming that most of the time, they're not just the police, but they're the moral police as well, where they actually monitor your words and have very little time for actual crimes. Which has actually got to change, hasn't it, really? And in fact, after doing such a thing, they've just been given a verbal kick in the gonads by the new Home Secretary, Sula Braverman. So it actually looks like things are about to change, if this story from Metro is anything to go by. <gasps> Does that mean I'm going to lose my rainbow police car? Now, did you know that I heard that if you click the subscribe button down there, it will make a snowflake's head explode? The article says that a police force has been forced to say sorry after becoming involved in a transgender row on social media. Sussex Police was accused of playing identity politics and denying biology by the Home Secretary after calling out a Twitter user's hateful comments against a jailed trans woman. Sally Ann Dixon was sent to prison for 20 years after being convicted of historic sex offences against five girls and two boys before she had transitioned. Sussex police said it would not tolerate any hateful comments about gender identity regardless of the crimes committed in a response to a tweet expressing gender critical views. The force told the female Twitter user to familiarise herself with the, what is regarded as hate on its website. But then the Home Secretary, Suella Braverman, waded into the row, telling the force to focus on catching criminals, not policing pronouns. And within hours, Sussex Police said yesterday that its initial comment had been inconsistent with our usual style of engagement. Can anyone remember a few months ago when they had that big, be an offensive, is an offence poster? This just screams of that, doesn't it? They're more concerned, it often seems nowadays, with actually police and pronouns and offence and Twitter, social media comments rather than actual police, and which has got to change, hasn't it? So I'm really glad that the Home Secretary sorted them out there, and hopefully that's a sign of things to come. Because free speech is very important, and that's what this Twitter user was doing, whether the police liked it or not. They can't just cancel people or tell people off for comments just because they don't like them. It's someone's free speech at the end of the day. And don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to say that it's okay to be verbally abusive to someone, because it's not. But we do have have a right to free speech whether the police like that or not and they should concentrate more on policing and stop all this woke stuff the police should not be politicized at all in the slightest so they shouldn't have done any of that taking a knee stuff or maybe even some of the dancing they done in the parades going on at the end of the day just catch bad guys that's all you gotta do and i don't mean people making comments on social media or even sharing a post i mean how ridiculous was that i mean i'm sure you've seen it a little while ago where a bloke got arrested and the charges got swiftly dropped, if I remember rightly. In a statement released last night, they said, We reported factually on the findings of the court, which heard that at the time of the offence, Dixon was living as a man. John Stephen Dixon. The relevant offences were recorded as being committed by a male. An early reply to a comment on Twitter was inconsistent with our usual style of engagement, and we apologise for this and have removed the comment. We, of course, recognise the rights of the public to express themselves freely, yeah, right, with the boundaries of the law. Well, you know, clearly some of your staff don't know, and who knows, may actually be woke themselves. Either way, I think some common sense training might be helpful for them. Maybe even a picture of a man climbing out of a window with a TV set might help them see what they're looking for. Unfortunately, though, all this woke stuff doesn't look like it's going to be ending with the police, because in this video, it seems like they're spreading to another emergency service. Which surely can't be good, especially if lives are at risk. Anyway, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one.